On August 12, 2026, there will be an incredible total solar eclipse. The Moon will completely cover the Sun, producing one of the most spectacular celestial events you'll ever experience and photograph. But when will it happen exactly? Where will it be visible? And what amazing phenomena will we be able to see and photograph during totality? Most importantly, how can you plan your photo of the eclipse so you know exactly where and when to capture it? Well, this and more is what we will explore today. To plan your clip shot, go to for pills, tap on planner, and today I have the red pin in Iceland. The next thing I'll do is to choose the clips I want to plan, so the one in August 12, 2026. So tap on Maps Layers here, and the Map Layers tap on Eclipse Layer, and then tap on the Eclipse that happens, the total solar eclipse that happens on August 12, 26, and go back to the map. And now if you zoom out, you'll see where the eclipse is visible, where totality is visible in this black band here. You see that it crosses Iceland in this area here, and then it goes back North Spain, crosses Spain, and ends here in the Balearic Islands, Menorca, Mallorca, and Ibiza. Pretty cool. Awesome. Outside this black band, and in between the yellow lines, you'll be able to photograph the partial face only, not totality. Okay, now let's swipe the top panel to the left until we get to the eclipse panel. Uh, this one here, where we see the faces of the eclipse and the times each face of the eclipse occurs. For example, we have the red pin now here in the middle of Iceland, Iceland uh, outside the path of the Dalari. The eclipse is visible only if you happen to be in Iceland and you want to photograph the Dalari, you need to go where this black band here is. For example, here in the coast, somewhere over there, for example, here. Okay, and as you see, the top panel now is showing me all the faces of the eclipse when the partial eclipse begins at 4.45, 32 seconds p.m., when the totality begins 5, 46, 23 seconds p.m., when the eclipse is maximum at 5, 47, uh, 14 seconds p.m., and when the totality ends at 5, 48, 05 uh, seconds p.m. So here in Iceland, the totality will last 1 minute and 41 seconds, you have the total time of totality on the top panel, on the first eclipse panel. 1 minute and 41 seconds, pretty cool. Let's go back to the uh, eclipse panel where we have the times of the phases. So now very quickly you know where to go and the exact times the eclipse will occur. So now very quickly we've just figured out where to go to see totality, so you need to be in the path of totality, and then thanks to the top panel, and based on the red pin position, I know the exact times each phase of the clips occurs. Also on the map I have where the clips occurs, and as you see, as I change the time using the time bar, the top panel just shows me how the clips evolves. And here on the map, I have the direction where the uh, sun and the moon will be, right there. And if you are at the red pin position, you can always tap on the AR button, to visualize where the sun and the moon and the eclipse will occur in the sky. You have the horizon here, so you see in Iceland uh, the sun and the eclipse will happen over there, which is pretty cool. And by the way, I'm planning this eclipse shot in Iceland because we're announcing now a eclipse expedition to Iceland to photograph the totality and also to photograph uh, the south of Iceland next August. So if you're interested in joining, I'm gonna leave a link to the expedition in the first comment below. Check it out. Okay, going back to my plan, now that I know where the eclipse will occur and when, basically you can choose your shiny spot where there is nothing blocking the view of the eclipse. For example, here, oh, sorry, <laughs> for example, uh, here on this amazing uh, beach. And yeah, to sum up, you have the times of all the faces on the panel, on the map you have where the eclipse will occur, on the AR you also have the where the eclipse will occur, uh, through the augmented reality views, which is pretty cool. So you have everything you need to plan your eclipse shot. Now, here, my advice, and this is what we'll do in our expedition to Iceland, because, you know, there can be clouds everywhere on Earth and everywhere on the uh, path of totality. So the strategy for the eclipse always is to, you know, check the weather forecast, monitor the weather forecast, and try to find this hole in the sky and go there and capture it. So you increase the chances to get the eclipse. And this is what, of course, we'll do during our expedition.
twice. So I invite you to join and to see us in action. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is to plan my focal length. And to do it, I'm gonna tap on the map settings button again, and then I'll tap on the map tools, tap on field of view, tap go back to the map. And now under the panel, you have this menu where you can choose your camera, for example, Nikon Z6, uh, the focal length, let's say I'm gonna be using a 200 mil to start with. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot in landscape for example, and then I'm gonna have on the map what the field of view is. So I can just swipe the, the field of view. I'm gonna do a long press on the time on the top panel to set the time where the clip is maximum. So I know where it is at all time. Uh, so I know where it happens on the map here. And I'm gonna align my focal length, uh, my field of view with the eclipse. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Now, if I want to see the size of the sun or the clips uh, on the map, I need to tap on the map settings button, tap on the sun layer and switch uh, on sun, show sun size, go back to the map. And now I have, oops, I have here how big the sun and the moon will be. Uh, basically, uh, I know how big the sun will appear in the frame. 200 is too much for just capturing the faces of the, of the clips. So I'm gonna go to uh, 500, for example, and here in 500, yeah, 500, I can have, I really have how big the sun uh, will be, which is uh, pretty cool. You see, I'm gonna center the field of view with the sun. And yeah, this is how you can decide the focal length very quickly based on the photo you want. You use the field of view map tool. Nice. Now you wish to keep learning, you wish to learn how to better plan and photograph or well, photograph the total solar eclipse next year. I invite you to download and study well our super detailed uh, solar eclipse uh, photography guide. I'm gonna leave a link to the guide in the description of this video and in the first column below. Download it. And as always, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan, and shoot. Listen to the photos. Bye, photo pillars.